Welcome back. I'm making a twin stick shooter called The Last Phoenix. If you want to see how cool I can make this, follow me on Kickstarter. This is a fantasy creature that resembles an alpaca. This was a fan's submission and I'm modifying the art to fit the rest of the game, but it's a cool way for you to see what my style's like. The first thing I did was change that yellow eye to a black one, but I wanted to make it a little bit taller because I thought it'd look, look kind of cuter. I had some basic shading for it too and a little, a little cheek and a little nose. These little details make it look more, more realistic. Something that's really important while you're doing pixel art is to mess around with the colors. There's, you gotta mess with the contrast, but also the hue, because your piece of artwork will have a completely different feeling based on what hue it is. A lot of pixel art is trial and error, so I tried like a different nose on there, and you, you kinda have to do it to see what it looks like. <laughs> so sometimes I try all sorts of different things before I decide which one is the one. These horns are really cool, but I wanted to try to give them more form. So I messed around with the shape quite a bit, I tried to just adjust it, but then I just removed the whole thing to see what I come up with. When drawing things, I often used outline, but for this case, since I was trying to focus on the form, I really just did the form, and then I'm gonna go and add an outline. Some simple shading in the ear, and after that, I'm focusing on the edges, cleaning up the edges, giving it more of the type of body that I want and then extending the shading to make it look to make it look more round. I noticed that there's like a dark color at the very bottom, but I think it needs to be added all around the body. It's a missed opportunity to, to go in and just sprinkle it around different parts to add a little bit of more depth. I was going at 10 times normal speed and <laughs> watching it it's so fast you can hardly see what I'm talking about. So this is three times speed and I think you can kind of follow what I'm doing. And sorry I was going so fast. I think that I need to keep it like at least, you know, I think 3x might be the fastest that I can make it so that you can see what I'm <laughs> what I'm doing. I was just trying to avoid this being a super long video. But what might be really beneficial is if it's not so fast that you can't even follow the technique but instead if I just slow it down and then you can watch what I do and learn from what I do so I think it's kind of better if I just stop talking let's be a long video and you can watch <laughs> and learn and just have this playing on the side while you work to keep you motivated and enthused or something you know I like to add single pixels here and there, but if you do too much of it, it starts looking like a texture or just messy. So limit the amount of single pixels you put around your, around your artwork. Every pixel matters. Just cross your fingers that people know what that pixel represents.
If you have some feedback as you're watching this, please let me know in the comment section below. There have been several times when people have recommended something and it was fantastic feedback that would improve the artwork. I'm not perfect and there's things that you see that I might miss. Should be using the preview window but i still zoom in and out all the time to take a look at my artwork do you do that too
YouTube has a community tab where I actually try to post pretty often. If you haven't seen Scavengers Reign, you gotta check out that show and I'm um, playing Paper Mario. But what I wanted to show you was the before and after. And I asked you guys what I should name it. Let's see, you guys came up with some pretty cool names. Buttermilk Dan. I don't know about that one, but I like the, <laughs> I like the creativity. You can also find me on Twitter. Tag me if you draw something. I'll see you next week. Dev Live. Please subscribe.